Shalom, I want to start giving all praise due to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, and Ka Kadai. This is going to be quick to the point. Okay, um. This is just going over the, the chapter, um, James chapter 1. I'll probably go to verse 1 to 3. But just quick, just something that I pondered on. Okay, it says, all right, first I'm going to read it in um, King James Version, then I'm going to read it in the NLT. It says, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes which are scattered aboard, greeting. Okay, now let's switch to the to the um, NLT. This letter is from James, a slave of the Most High, of the Lord, Mashiach Yehoshaphat. I am writing to the 12 tribes, the Jewish believers, scattered abroad greetings now why you see that now the reason why i wanted to make this point because this is dedicated to who the israelites okay this is dedicated to the elect of israel but this is dedicated to um this ain't for everybody this ain't the whole world joining hands we are the world okay this is separation okay and just like the tower of babel when everybody tried to come together on one accord to bring that tower under Nimrod to, to build that, that tower, um, to build up that tower of Babel, the Lord made confusion. So that stands right there that the Lord don't want people to come together. Okay? But because he wants the Israelites to be separate from the nations. And I just don't understand why our people just don't get that through their head. Like, there's nothing wrong with trying to work with, within your home with your group your people it's not racist it's not um immoral to do such a thing okay this is ordained by the most high because they have their own belief their own god we have a supreme being whether you believe it or not and we got to come back doing things for us and we don't want to do that but you know it, it, i can't understand why you see um, in New York, Little Italy, Little it, uh, Little Italy, Chinatown. Um, I even watched a couple of times when I see young Edomites playing basketball together late at night in the park. This was in Deer Park at one time. And um, nobody messes with them. But as soon as we come together, the cops harass. What are y'all talking about? What are y'all doing? Harass us and stuff like that. And technically, we should be happy because we don't want to be part of them. We don't want nothing from them, man. We just want to serve the Most High, <clears throat> uh, preach these scriptures, this gospel of truth, and hopefully to wake up the elect of Israel, our people. But we do understand that a lot of our people is not going to be even woken. And this is this is what's happening. A lot of our people are going to die. Okay? So, let's read on. So, it's this is specific that this is to the Israelites. And then it says in verse 2, I'm going to read it from the NLT. I'm going to stay on that side. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. And that's another thing. Our people don't have no discipline. Okay? And the first discipline and structure, which if you understood and studied this Bible, it brings us together. It's, I, I, I think one of the brothers from GMS, I don't know which one, he did a video talking about how to be a brother, how to treat a brother, how to be a brother. You know how people been through so much trauma, they don't even know how to treat each other. And that's something to think about, man. They don't even know how to treat each other. So how to be a brother, how to, how to, how to be a role model according to these scriptures and I'm applying them in your life to bring our people together. Now I'm downtown in North Carolina. I ain't gonna tell you the secret location because none of your damn business, but This is what I'm talking about. You know, our people are filled with drugs, um, heroin at that. Yeah, heroin at that. And it's just party and bullshit, party and bullshit. And another reason why they think that, they don't understand why they're going through turmoil. But he is the one that's struggling. This is the one that's struggling and keeping the Lord's commandment. It's like it, vex, it vexes us. 
in this society from what we see, especially from what we learned and what the spirit provided for us to get understanding while this took place because we broke the Lord's commandment. We broke that covenant. Covenant. That's why it's so important when you use that word, amen. They use that word loosely. Amen. Means rather, it means an agreement, but it also is saying that, I, it also saying the Messiah is a rep, it's an epithet word towards the Messiah, but it's also brings upon you blessings and curses. And here's how, because if you don't fulfill those, if you don't fit, fulfill your contract, automatically those curses are hidden on you. They, they're put on you. And in your family, and that's why you see brothers in the jail, the sons in the jail, the sisters on prostitute, the daughters of prostitute, like mother, like daughter, because the curses are sticking to you like glue. You can't shake them off. You know what I'm saying? We can't shake them off. You know? But the ones that's crying and, 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 and asking the most high to, to, to hurry to get us out of here, you know, they know what's, go what's up. They know what's going on. And it says, dear brothers and sisters, when troubles come your way, con consider it an opportunity for great joy. But well, we know great things and turmoil is supposed to take place because we know our deliverer is here. You know, who you're going to call Jesus Christ. He, he's coming with a sickle. You know, and remember the last time he came, he came with miracles, blessings, and he was talking. He didn't do no head chopping off. This time it's head chopping off. Dead bodies laying all over the floors. Blood, gushy blood. It's going to be a horror movie. Spooky horror movie. Uh, and that's how this is going to be. Yeah, spooky horror movie. Guts. Laying all over the place. Hot, heads chopping up, chopped off. Imagine just conversating with somebody and a bullet came and went through their head and blew their head all over the goddamn chair or whatever instrument they're near leaning on. Can you imagine that? He's coming with a sickle. He ain't coming to talk. And everybody thinks this is a joke. How long can you continue to do something that's foul and vile in your life or to your body or in your life or to someone else before it come back and return to you or they snap and something happens to you for that? How long? From what I noticed from the most time that I lived in this life, it always come back and it comes back work. Nothing can, you can't keep banging on something before it pops. Can't keep pulling on something before it breaks. This is how it goes. I, I think so. Yeah, so that's that. And it says, um, dear brothers and sisters, when troubles come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy because our deliverer is coming. And there ain't gonna be no more sick, no more pain, no more sorrow just straight up commandments in our mind and our spirit which is that mind is lahab or your heart is lahab in the hebrew so we, we ain't gonna have to wear garments because it's gonna be in us okay that's how he want that's why he says render your heart not your garments you know and it says for you know that when your faith is tested your endurance has a chance to grow so let it grow for when you and for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. If you need wisdom, ask our generous power, and He will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. And that goes back to Ecclesiastes, cuss in the Bible. I believe. How, I, I, when did the Lord? We asked the Lord, and we followed His commandments. He never gave us the things that we asked. But in how I say, you of little faith. I don't know which one was running or walking over the water, but they start seeing the water that they was actually walking on the water, and they was like, "Oh shoot, I can really believe this." And then they fell because they, they, you know, they they didn't really have the faith. So when we manifest things in this in our brain and faith, all things could be be done, and this is the promise. That's how you got to get tapped it tapped into the Lord. Just like niggas be tapped into the left hand side which is voodoo and evil. Tap into that Holy Spirit and it will awake you. And it will awake you. And it will awake you. And it says if you, and then it says but when you ask him be sure that your faith is in the most high alone. Do not waver. Yeah you see don't waver. Don't be shaky nigga. You know what I'm holding a gun. That's the figure of speech. 
holding the gun all shaky. Hold that shit steady and firm. I said, do not waver for a person with divided loyalty as unsettled as a wave of a sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. Yeah, that's what that's a weave shaking in the wind. Unbalanced or a double-minded man that's unstable in all his ways. You know what I'm saying? He's shaky. You know? He don't know if he's coming or going. One day he's this way and he make a decision and next way he's that way. You know what I'm saying? You don't that nigga is shaky, man. You know, you gotta get away from a person like that. So count it all. It says count it as um a good thing when you it's gonna it's gonna upbuild you in the long run. But I wanted to make out two points off that little scripture. It's more but due to on the job, I, I can't give you that much time. I'm gonna give you a little time. I'm making a video quick to the point. But it's to the twelve tribes of Israel, and that's in the New Testament. And it's in and, and, and it's to the twelve tribes got it aboard. All right, so that's a beautiful thing right there, man. The Lord is coming with a sickle. Death and destruction must take place, but that's your salvation. That's your that's you coming back to your original um, status, okay? And you're going to be the head. Remember, the scepter should not um, which um, the, the scepter should not leave Judah. Judah is a lawgiver. Okay, and Ephraim has the blessings. And then no two sticks are gonna come together and make one. That's why you had the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. But when the Lord come back, all those tribes are gonna to join together. The elect out of each one of those tribes, which is 144,000 out of each tribe, 144,000 out of the, out of out of Judah, 144,000 out of Ephraim, 144,000. Out of Gad, 144,000. Um, I, I believe um, um, 144,000 out of all the tribe. Manasseh. Okay, let's keep it going. But it's 144,000 elect out of that tribe. Men, women, and children. And guess who he's coming for? He's coming to kill, but also to build. The killing is the two thirds, and the building is the elect. Amen. Amen to that. Shalom.